Okay, so what's happened? My wife fixed the clothes. She forgot the, uh, the needle mm -hmm. and leave on the table. Yes. And the dog just very quick come to grab and ate. Ate the needle? Yeah, ate the needle. Oh, goodness. Was there a string on the needle? Yes. How long was the string? Do you uh, about that long. We'll put him on the table. I'll have a look at him. Hey, cutie pie. Oh, Very difficult. Oh, no, no, no. Can't see anything Sorry. there so far. Until we know where that needle is in his body, there's no way that we can tell how we're going to get it out. I think it's a better idea to take the x-ray now mm. and then I'll talk to you about what we're going to do. Mm. Even though Lake is acting like nothing's happening, he's bright and he's happy, if we leave that needle in there, it could perforate through his intestines, through his stomach, it could cause septic peritonitis and he can die from that. He's your baby? Yeah, we, <sighs> yeah, we love that dog very much. I can tell. Laker decided to swallow a sewing needle with some thread on it. That's clever. It's very clever. So we're just going to get some x-rays. I need your help because I can't obviously do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In my current state, I can't actually be exposed to radiation, so I'm going to need an extra hand to make sure that I'm safe as well. As vet nurse Nikki assists Lisa with the x-rays... we got to see where it is. Laker's owners Jeff and Jesse nervously wait in the sash reception. We're still quite worried. Yes, yeah, still quite worried. All right, there it is. Mm. It's a big needle. It's massive. The fact that it's in his stomach means that an endoscopy, putting the camera down there, is still an option. There's no guarantee that when we get down there with the camera that we're even going to be able to grab that needle, let alone find it and pull it out. I don't want Laker to go under the knife. I don't want him to have surgery, and this is the next best option. Got to see what your mum and dad want to do now. So he definitely swallowed the needle. Yes. I think the best thing would be to give him an anaesthetic yep. and try and pull it out with the camera. It's only a little dog and it's a big needle and I'm worried that that could get stuck if we don't do anything. Uh, oh, OK, yeah, we definitely need to do something. I never feel comfortable when a sharp metal object is in an animal's stomach, intestines, bowel, anywhere. It could get stuck, it could perforate through his bowel, and that's a pretty serious emergency. We've got to get this out of Laker. Mm. Good boy. Have a little sleep now. Laker's endoscopy is about to begin. You can do it, Phil. Yeah, well, we're just going down. Um, this is the easy bit. Yeah. Hard bit's finding the needle. Dr. Philip Brain is performing the delicate procedure. Like finding a needle in the haystack. Yeah. We just have to use that camera to scan the stomach, hoping that we find that piece of string and the needle on the end of it. I thought they might be the needle right through, but I think it's just thread that's come off the needle. You know, we see a little hair and it's magnified and we think, oh, that's the string, and we try and grab it and then we pull it and it comes out as nothing. And it, it's quite frustrating and unnerving. That would have been too easy, wouldn't it? It's just taking us a while to get orientated in there and oh, haven't found anything yet. Thread could be wrapped up in that little ball, but let's have a look. Time is, is ticking by, and I know that Jeff and Jesse are waiting in the waiting room. I'm just hoping that he doesn't have to end up on the operating table. OK, just open. Finally, a breakthrough. We've found the eye of the needle and the thread that's attached to it. The hard work's trying to get it out. We do have to manoeuvre it to get it out in the right orientation, otherwise we can get it snagged. And I think that's what's happening now a little bit. Uh, close. Oh, oh. You can live in hope. Yes! Woohoo! Yay! Isn't that nice? Have that we got the car? Like it is a huge relief for us, and Jeff's going to be over the moon, as is, I'm sure, little Laker when he wakes up. 
Yeah, we got a high five, Phil. We can do that. <laughs> You're just a happy little boy. You are, yeah you are. You still want the cuddles and you don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Needle-loving Laker has fully recovered from his endoscopy and is now ready to be reunited with Jeff and Jesse. Yes, you swallowed a needle. For Laker, it was a bit of an easy ride. Lots of cuddles, a good snooze and out the door. For Jeff and Jesse, it was a lot of distress about their little baby and whether or not he'd survive. There you go. Uh, can I have a day one? Yeah, yeah I, and I, he's I, awake. He's, he can go home tonight. Oh, okay. There was no damage to the tummy yeah. or no damage to the esophagus, so he's very lucky. Yeah. The needle <laughs> is very sharp and it didn't do any damage. Yeah, it's amazing. We yeah. checked everything, so yeah, it's, okay. it's amazing. Next time, you need to very, really be careful when you use sharp things, but he's very lucky. You saying thank you? I say thank you very much, thank you. Mm. What a huge relief for Laker and the whole family. I mean, to their surprise, Laker's gone home tonight, so it's happy endings for everyone. Okay, bye-bye. See you later, okay, bye. Bye-bye, thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.